just after 4 p.m., almost a year ago, a contractor installing cable lines hits a gas line while digging at the retirement community. The guy digging smells gas and calls 911. The fire department and Excel get there, and about an hour and a half later, many of them are knocked to the ground by an explosion. I hope it's not somebody's house. That contractor who originally hit the gas line actually got up and rescued an elderly man stuck in his home, but Carol Ross was found dead in her basement. They'd have, obviously, this wasn't an intentional act. And as you work your way down the level of culpability, you wonder, is it reckless? Is it negligent? And if it's negligent, does it rise to the level of criminal negligence? District Attorney George Brockler says the investigation didn't show criminal negligence, though investigators noted gas line issues had been a recurring problem at Heather Gardens. Contractors hit other lines there in the weeks prior. Investigators also said nobody ever called 811 to check on what was lying below the surface that day. I'm not sure that you can say that there wasn't any kind of negligence here. The question is, does it rise to the level of criminal negligence and who is ultimately responsible? Um, there are after action items here that I think uh, the city and the fire department need to take a strong look at with these companies involved with this. But to say that there's criminal liability is a different step altogether. In Aurora, Ryan Herrer, Nine News.